nice to see you again. Yeah, no, good to see you too. I have today a really very important question about auditing, because if we would talk about auditing in EATF, there is a special approach to internal audits. And today I really would like to ask you to reveal this approach for everyone. Could you please? I will try. Yeah, yeah. So I think you're, you're alluding to what's called the automotive process approach to auditing. And this is something I think that ATF feel very strongly about. Mm -hmm. Now, dating back when I was first trained as an auditor, I was not trained in the process approach. I was trained, Paul, here's a procedure or here's a section of the standard that I want you to go and audit. And I was very much trained in the early days that you go and audit the procedure or the section of the standard for compliance. Mm -hmm. But you really were not looking at the way on a day-to-day -day basis, the process actually works. Yeah? So when mm -hmm. ISO 9001 was revised back in year 2000 to the process approach, and then we saw more emphasis on risk being introduced in 2015, really the approach of audits should have changed that rather than auditors auditing just a procedure or auditors auditing a section of the standard they should be going to audit processes and really to audit a process first of all before we even do the audit we need to know the scope so we need to know what is the input to the process what are the activities of the process and what is the expected output of the process? Because as an auditor, if we're not told about the scope, then we could be off auditing all facets of the company. So we need to be very clear on what is the process that we're expected mm -hmm. to go out and audit. The next thing the automotive process approach says is we're not just trying to audit the process for compliance. We're trying to audit the process for effectiveness. And to do that in the audit, we must look at the process results. We must look at the process KPIs. We must look at the customer performance data if it is relevant to the process. Because it's great having a process, but mm -hmm. what we're trying to establish as an auditor is, is the output of the process meeting all interested party requirements, whether that be the customer, whether it be the next process in line or whether it be any other relevant uh, interested party. And the key way that I would teach that, whether it be internal, second party or third party auditors, is called the CAP do approach to auditing. Now, I think all the listeners will be aware of PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Act. But the way that we train auditors is we don't audit, plan, do, check, act. We encourage auditors to audit, check, act, plan, do. So when we do our audit, we start off at the beginning of the audit by looking at the process performance. And then based upon the process performance, we follow audit trails into the other aspect of the process. So I think that's a really important message in trying to understand the automotive process approach. One, that we're clearly auditing processes, not just procedures or clauses. Two, we need to look at information that gives us confidence that the process is working. And the way we do that is by looking at performance data. Well, I'm really impressed of that really deep explanation of process approach auditing um, in automotive. Thank you very much. Yeah. No, thank you. I enjoyed it. This will be my favorite question, I guess. 